Hi guys, it's not Clay again, it's Stephanie. Um, it is February, it is the month of love. So I wanted to take a minute and talk to you guys about emotions. So there's a good chance because we are all human beings and you're going to interact with lots of other imperfect human beings today. There's a good chance that at some point today you might feel something like frustration or anger or sadness um, or grief. And I think there's a lot of discussion in the church right now about the role that of emotions and you know the role that they should or should not play in our daily lives. I was really struck uh, a few weeks ago. I was having a conversation with a friend, and this friend had experienced a loss in their family. And at the time, um, this friend had been attending a church that was you know very spirit filled. It was very focused on the redemption that we have in Christ and the new life that we have in Christ. Um, that we are you know we are dead to the old. Um, but she felt like in this season, for those couple of weeks, that she didn't want to go, you know, she didn't feel comfortable being at that church because she didn't feel like she could be authentic in her grief. She felt like that grief wasn't allowed because, you know, we or should we have the joy of Christ. We should have the mind of Christ. You know, we don't have any room for grief here. Um, and I think like many things in life, there, there really has to be a balance because we have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. But we are also in uh, human bodies for this temporary time that we're on earth and we have a soul and that soul feels things. And I think that we have to have a balance to acknowledge our emotions and find the root of where they come from and not become slaves to them. It makes me think about one time when I was younger and my family went rafting down a river and we were rafting and floating along and I noticed on the side of the river there was this little whirlpool and all these leaves and sticks were just getting caught and they were just not going anywhere. They're just going in this little circle right there on the side of the river. And it may, I think emotions in a lot of ways can be the same way. Is that we can let ourselves acknowledge the emotion to the point that we get sucked in. And then we're dwelling on it and we're thinking on it. And then everything we say and do that day is, is stemming from that emotion because we are just stuck there. And our flesh is just keeping us swirling in that emotion. Um, and scripture says that we have this hope, which is the anchor for our souls and just firm and secure. And that hope is the ultimate truth of who Christ is and what he did do for us and who we are on this earth in spite of the external circumstances. And I feel like that hope is the thing that can pull us out of that whirlpool of emotions, pull us back into the current so we can continue to flow on. So I want to just leave you with that today and encourage you that, you know, you will probably, as they say, feel some kind of way, um, whether that be anger or frustration or sadness. And I don't want you to feel condemned when you feel that, feel that emotion. Acknowledge it. Think about why you feel that way. But realize that the truth that we acknowledge is more ultimate than any temporary fleeting feeling that we might have. Thanks for taking a minute.